हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विद विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट द टॉपिक इरिगेशन शेड्यूलिंग बिफोर प्रेजेंटेशन आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ आई एम विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव आई हैव डन एम एस एग्रीकल्चर विद स्पेशलाइज इन एग्रोनॉमी फ्रॉम जी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंतनगर इन नाइनटीन एंड प्रेजेंटली वर्किंग एज ए सीड प्रोफेशनल इन वन ऑफ द एम एसोसिएटेड विद सीड्स एंड पेस्टिसाइड ग्रुप सो लेट्स प्रोसीड टू द प्रजेंटेशन Irrigation scheduling is defined as frequency with which water is to be applied based on needs of the crop and nature of the soil. Irrigation scheduling is nothing but number of irrigations and their frequency required to meet the crop water requirement. Irrigation scheduling may be defined as scientific management techniques of allocating irrigation water based on the individual crop water requirement under different soil and climatic conditions. With an aim to achieve maximum crop production per unit of water applied over a unit area in unit time. Now to study the effect of application of excess amount of water. Excess irrigation is harmful because it wastes water below the root zone. It results in loss of fertilizer nutrients due to leaching and other losses. It causes water stagnation and salinity. It causes poor aeration and ultimately it damages the crops. However, as irrigation is concerned, irrigation scheduling has its own meaning and importance according to the nature of work. First, for irrigation engineers, irrigation scheduling is important to cover more area with available quantity of water or to satisfy the whole command from head to tail reach in the canal or river system. Second is for soil scientists, it is important that the field should not be over irrigated. or under irrigated as both will spoil the chemical and physical equilibrium of the soil third is for agronomists it is very much important to get higher yield per unit quantity of water in normal situations and to protect the crop to get as much as possible yield under drought situation by means on supplying water in optimum ratio and minimizing all field losses now to study the importance of irrigation scheduling how much and how often water has to be given depends on the irrigation requirement of the crop for this there should be irrigation scheduling irrigation requirement is equal to crop water requirement minus effective rainfall it can be expressed either in millimeter per day or millimeter per month if the crop water requirement of a particular crop is 6 millimeter per day it means every day we have to give 6 mm of water to the crop practically it is not possible since it is time consuming and laborious hence it is necessary to schedule the water supply by means of some time intervals and quantity for example the water requirement of 6 mm per day can be scheduled as 24 mm for every 4 days or 30 mm for every 5 days or 36 mm for every 6 days depending on the soil type and climatic conditions prevailing in that particular place while doing so we must be very cautious that the interval should not allow the crop to suffer for want of water now we will study about practical considerations in irrigation scheduling before scheduling irrigation in a farm or field or a command The following criteria should be taken care for efficient scheduling. First one is crop factor, which includes first one is sensitiveness to water shortage, second critical stages of the crop, third is rooting depth and fourth economic value of the crop. And second factor is water delivery system. This is also having two systems like first one canal irrigation or tank irrigation. It is a public distribution system where scheduling is arranged based on the decision made by public based on the resource availability and second is well irrigation which is individual decision is final third criteria of irrigation scheduling is types of soil first if sandy soils it needs short frequency of irrigation and less quantity of water while if it is clay soil it needs long frequency of irrigation and more quantity of water and fourth criteria is salinity hazard to maintain favorable salt balance excess water application may be required rather than evapotranspiration requirement of the crop to leach the excess salt through deep percolation 
फिफ्थ क्राइटेरिया ऑफ इरीगेशन शेड्यूलिंग इज इरीगेशन मैथड्स लाइक फर्स्ट वन इज बेसिन मैथड विच अलाउज मोर इनफिल्ट्रेशन थ्रो मोर वेटिंग सर्फेस विच इन टर्न्स नीड्स मोर वाटर एंड लॉन्ग इंटरवल इन इरीगेशन फ्रीक्वेंसी सेकेंड इज फरो मैथड विच अलाउज लेस इनफिल्ट्रेशन ड्यू टू लेस वेटिंग सर्फेस विच नीड्स लेस वाटर एंड शॉर्ट इंटरवल इन इरीगेशन फ्रीक्वेंसी थर्ड इज स्प्रिंकलर मैथड विच नीड्स लेस वाटर एंड मोर फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड फोर्थ इज ड्रिप मैथड विच नीड्स लेस वाटर एंड मोर फ्रीक्वेंसी सिक्सथ क्राइटेरिया इज इरीगेशन इंटरवल द एक्सटेंशन ऑफ इरीगेशन इंटरवल डज नॉट एलिवेज सेव वाटर द इंटरवल हैज टू बी ऑप्टिमाइज बेस्ड ऑन द एग्रो क्लाइमेटिक सिचुएशन सेवेंथ क्राइटेरिया ऑफ इरीगेशन शेड्यूलिंग इज मिनिमम स्प्रेडेबल डेफ्थ वी कैनॉट रिड्यूस द डेफ्थ बेस्ड ऑन द वाटर रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द क्रॉप एलोन द डेफ्थ शुड बी फिक्सड बेस्ड ऑन द सोयल टाइप रूटिंग नेचर ऑफ द क्रॉप एंड इरीगेशन मैथड विच टू बी फॉलोड द मिनिमम डेफ्थ शुड बी एज टू अचीव यूनिफॉर्मिटी ऑफ अप्लीकेशन एंड टू गेट यूनिफॉर्म डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ओवर द इंटायर फील्ड नाउ वी विल स्टडी अबाउट थियोरटिकल अप्रोचेज ऑफ इरीगेशन शेड्यूलिंग फर्स्ट ऑन इज डायरेक्ट अप्रोच विच कवर्स फर्स्ट डेफ्थ इंटरवल एंड इल्ड अप्रोच सेकेंड सोयल मॉइस्चर डिफिसिट एंड ऑप्टिम मॉइस्चर रिजिम अप्रोच थर्ड इज सेंसिटिव क्रॉप अप्रोच एंड फोर्थ प्लांट ऑब्जर्वेशन मैथड सेकेंड मैथड इज इनडायरेक्ट और प्रिडिक्टिव अप्रोच विच इंक्लूड्स फर्स्ट वन क्रिटिकल स्टेज और फिनोलॉजिकल स्टेज अप्रोच एंड सेकेंड मेट्रोलॉजिकल और क्लाइमेटोलॉजिकल अप्रोच एंड थर्ड थियोटिकल अप्रोच इज मैथमेटिकल अप्रोच विच इंक्लूड्स इस्टिमेशन मैथड अप्रोच एंड सिंपल कैलकुलेशन मैथड एंड फोर्थ अप्रोच इज सिस्टम इज ए होल अप्रोच विच इंक्लूड्स रोटेशनल वाटर सप्लाई शेड्यूल अबाउट ईच अप्रोच वी विल डिस्कस इन डिटेल्स नाउ नाउ विल स्टडी अबाउट डायरेक्ट अप्रोच विच इंक्लूड्स वेरियस सब अप्रोचेज लाइक फर्स्ट वन डेफ्थ इंटरवल एंड इल्ड अप्रोच इन दिस मैथड डिफरेंट डेफ्थ ऑफ इरीगेशन वाटर एट डिफरेंट टाइम इंटरवल्स फिक्सड आर्बिट्रेली आर ट्राइड विदाउट कंसिडरिंग द सॉयल एंड वेदर करेक्टर्स द इरीगेशन ट्रीटमेंट विच गिव्स द मैक्सिमम इल्ड विथ मिनिमम डेफ्थ एंड एक्सटेंडेड इंटरवल इज चूजन एज द बेस्ट इरीगेशन शेड्यूल अर्लियर वर्कर्स हैव एडोप्टेड दिस प्रैक्टिस टू वर्क आउट द ड्यूटी ऑफ वाटर फॉर डिफरेंट क्रॉप्स इन मेनी इरीगेशन प्रोजेक्ट्स इट इज द रफ इरीगेशन शेड्यूल सेकेंड अप्रोच इज सॉयल मॉइस्चर डेफिसिट एंड ऑप्टिम मॉइस्चर रिजीम अप्रोच दिस अप्रोच कंसिडर्स सॉयल मॉइस्चर कंटेंट इन द रूट जोन ऑफ द क्रॉप फॉर फिक्सिंग द शेड्यूल वेन द सोयल मॉइस्चर रिच इज ए प्री फिक्सड वैल्यू इट मे बी फोर्टी परसेंट ऑफ अवेलेबल सॉयल मॉइस्चर और फिफ्टी परसेंट और सिक्सटी परसेंट इरीगेशन इज गिवन द डिग्री ऑफ डिप्लेशन इज मेजर्ड थ्रो परसेंटेज ऑफ अवेलेबिलिटी बाई यूजिंग ग्रेविमेट्रिक टेंसियोमीटर रेजिस्टेंस ब्लॉक और न्यूट्रन प्रॉब मैथड्स एक्स्ट्रा थर्ड अप्रोच इज सेंसिटिव क्रॉप अप्रोच द क्रॉप विच आर ग्रोन फॉर देयर फ्रेश लीव्स और फ्रूट्स आर मोर सेंसिटिव टू वाटर शॉर्टेज देन द क्रॉप्स विच आर ग्रोन फॉर देयर ड्राई सीड और फ्रूट्स अंडर डायरेक्ट अप्रोच द फोर्थ अप्रोच इज प्लांट ऑब्जर्वेशन मैथड नॉर्मली इन फील्ड कंडीशन फार्मर्स यूज टू एडोप्ट दिस प्रैक्टिस फॉर शेड्यूलिंग इरीगेशन The day-to-day -day changes in the plant physical characters like color of the plant, erect nature of the plant leaves, wilting symptoms, etc., are closely and carefully observed on the whole, and not for individual plant. And then, time of irrigation is fixed according to the crop symptoms. It needs more skill and experience about the crop, as well as local circumstances like field condition, the rainy days of the tracts, etc. In this also there is two methods first one is indicator plant techniques and second micro plot techniques or indicator plot techniques now we'll study about indicator plant techniques as we have seen already some crops like sunflower tomato are highly sensitive to water stress which will show stress symptoms earlier than other stress tolerating crops hence to know the stress symptoms earlier such sensitive crops are planted in random in the field and based on the stress symptoms noticed in such plants scheduling of irrigation can be made this technique is called indicator plant techniques second is micro plot technique or indicator plot technique 
In this method, a one cubic foot micro plot is made up of which coarse texture soil to have more infiltration, less water holding capacity, and more evaporation than the actual main field. Normally, the field soil is mixed with sand in 1 by 2 ratio and filled in the micro plots made in the field. The seed of the same crop and variety is grown in micro plot with all similar cultural practices as that of main crop. The crop in micro plot so early stress symptoms than that of main field. Based on this, scheduling of irrigation can be made. Second approach of theoretical approach is predictive approach or indirect approach. It is also having different approaches like first one, critical stage or phenological stage approach. The growth period of an annual crop can be divided into four growth stages like first one is initial stage from sowing to 10% ground stage. Second is cover crop developmental stage means 10 to 70% ground cover stage. Third is mid season stage flowering to grain setting stage and fourth late season stage means ripening and harvesting stage and second approach is meteorological approach which is the basic principles employed with this approach are estimation of daily potential evapotranspiration rates third approach of theoretical approach is mathematical approach this is also two types first one is estimation method approach it is nothing but scientific prediction mainly based on the climate and soil type Calculated crop water need and estimated root depth are taken into account in this. Second is simple calculation method. It is based on the estimated depth of irrigation application and calculated irrigation need of the crop over growing season. Hence the influence of climate especially temperature and rainfall is taken for consideration. Hence it is more accurate than that of the estimated method. It involves four steps. First one is estimate the net and gross irrigation depth in millimeter. Second, calculate the irrigation water need millimeter over total growing season. And third, calculate the number of irrigation over total growing season. And fourth, calculate the irrigation interval. So this is all about mathematical approach. Fourth theoretical approach is system as a whole approach. Under this, there is one system like rotational water supply. It is one of the techniques in irrigation water distribution management. It aims at equidistribution of irrigation water irrespective of location of the land in the command area by enforcing irrigation time schedules. Each 10 hectare block is divided into 3 to 4 subunits and then it is known as irrigation groups. According to the availability of irrigation water, stabilized field channels and group wise irrigation requirement time schedules are evolved. The irrigation will be done strictly in accordance with the group wise time schedules by the block committees. Within the group the time is to be shared by the farmers themselves. So this was all about irrigation scheduling. Hope this presentation will be very very useful to all of you. Now my presentation ends here. Thank you very much. I have given here my YouTube channel details journey with Vijay Kumar Srivastava. Having request please visit the channel, subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedback. Thank you.